What up, everybody? It's Justin Romine. I'm here with my buddy Costas Gazanas, owner of Opa Greek Taverna here in Rowlett, Texas. And we're going to film a little cocktail promo. It's a smoked, what? A smoked? Smoked Boss Rita. Smoked Boss Rita made with Patron tequila. It's going to be epic. Uh, I'm going to do a little behind the scenes of how I actually film it, but I'm going to show y'all the sequence right now. So check that out. We are going to be using Patron Silver. We're gonna use Patron Citron, which is like a orange infused tequila, which a normal a normal margarita is gonna use like a triple sec Grand Marnier, some type of orange part. So it's mm -hmm. so two parts like tequila, one part of an orange liqueur, and then it's gonna be like four parts of sweet and sour. So mm. whatever that sweet and sour is, so it could be, you know, simple syrup and Lime juice, some people add a little bit of lemon juice, some people add a little splash of uh, orange juice. Then we're actually gonna smoke it. And that's just gonna add like these flavors of smoke. <laughs> and uh, yeah, exactly. Is so, that what these are? Right yeah, here? and then yeah, so you could choose your own smoke here. Uh, choose your own wood, cherry wood, hickory, or mesquite. We always let the guests have this option. So I'm gonna do a little something different than the B-roll you're seeing on YouTube and all that. Uh, a lot of people are doing the 120 frames a second, slow-mo. I'm gonna try to incorporate some 120, yeah, but also do a lot of 24 frames a second. I like so, that. I like that. I, I need you need to do something different. You can film B-roll without filming it slow motion. So mm -hmm. I want to try to film, of course, certain parts where you're like lighting up and doing like the smoke. That's gonna look really cool and almost necessary, right? To I have that in 120. But outside of that, like, I'm gonna try to do some 24. You know? You know? All right, so we did a little setup. We have the lights set up already. I'll kind of walk you through what we have. We have this backlight right here. Uh, this is also on a budget setup, right? This is budget setup. This is, these are the newer LED panels. Uh, this is gonna serve as our key light. Uh, as you can see, it's lighting up this area really well. So one quick tip on shooting B-roll like this, I would actually, we need to turn off these lights. So turn off all the ambient light that you have. Usually it's gonna be yellow and weird, or some have even like a magenta color. It just doesn't add to the effect. Uh, if you can pick up some like LED panels, these are really cheap, maybe like a hundred bucks for both of them. It also came with a softbox. Usually I use that, but run and gun set up this morning, uh, 7.30 a.m. start time. So it gives it like that yellow, yeah, like kind of like a sunny backlight. Yeah. What I just did is I adjusted that light, so the backlight, to be uh, all yellow. So I think that is 3,200. 3,200, so, so close, so close. Yeah, you were right there. Yeah. Uh, I would keep that light still at the 5,500 Kelvin, but that one is now at 3,200 straight up. There's no white. If you buy an LED light, make sure it has the dials to adjust either more warmer or more white. All right, so first you're gonna pour the Patron in there, right? Yes. So, like I said, I want to stick kind of with 24 frames a second. Actually, I'm going to pour it. I'm going to pour it into the jigger and then pour it more. Do a little something different. Okay. Using camera straps for my stabilization. And I'm shooting with the Sony a7 III and the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4. I want to get a little spin like that. Yeah. But I'm going to shoot it in 24. So, I guess I gotta be really good with it, yeah. you got to be really good and I got to be really okay. good. So. Let's, let's do this. So start at the bottom right there, yeah. and then where are you gonna go? You're gonna go up just a little bit. Yeah. All right, right there. And then bring it down, toss it up, catch it, and then slam it back down. I'll try to. Let's see it. Here's a practice run. Yeah, like that. Flare bartending right here. 
know, right? I'm gonna get at a low angle so I can maybe try to get more of it like in focus, in frame. We need to do that again, and I'm gonna drop below here. You, you gotta right. think about the transitions. I just filmed that perfectly, and I realized I didn't do, I didn't think about the transition. How am I gonna transition out? How am I gonna transition into the next shot? So for this one, there's a bar right here, right? So I'm gonna just gonna drop below it, so it's gonna be a tilt down. So let's do it one more time. See if I can nail it. That was good. I think that was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Except not that far in the line. Yeah. There you go. So I'm gonna grab your gonna, hand. Follow my hand. Yep. To the bottle. Follow your hand in the bottle. Got so it. manual focus. I just need to make sure I'm in the right spots. All right. Ready. <laughs> it does take me a while to open it. If I really open it, gotcha. Cool. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. I just need to. I'll be able to transition. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll do a push in since we did a moving forward. I'm going to do another moving forward right here. Okay. And I'm thinking I'm going to use part of these as I'm gonna adjust the sliding. Um, Are you pouring it? Oh, you're pouring it in there over that. I want to get a top down shot of when you actually pour it in. Okay. But let's get this shot of you pouring it in the shot glass. Okay. Because I'm going to do a push in for that. Okay. So you're going to start like that when I'm here. Yeah. And I'm going to say go and you're going to start moving the, like just pour it like you normally would. Okay. And I'm going to move up to you. Okay. Okay. Stop. We're going to do the pour. So for this, I didn't have a transition from that to that. So that's fine. But I'm going to transition into it. So I'm going to kind of do like a move over top like this. So I'm gonna film this in 120 just to get that extra little bit of smooth tequila pouring in the glass. So so I've done 24 frames a second all the way up to this point, and now I'm gonna utilize the 120 for specific purposes. That might be a one take, y'all. So I'm gonna do 24 frames a second. You wanna get like a steel shot of me like grabbing it or something like that? Or maybe like a, this is almost like a gimbal shot where you can like No, No it. gimbals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll do it with the top already off, okay. and I'm basically gonna get, I'll get you taking it, and I'll, I'll rotate it as you pour it. If you could pour it like from up there or something, yeah. and we'll move this. So let's do a practice take of it. Three. Three. Whoo! I bet that's gold. Built a little bit of warp stabilizer and that'll be fine. So I went down on that one, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a tilt down like that. To get you pouring it. Three. And get the focus. Three. Should we do a James Matthew line cut? Yeah. Or is that where was that Daniel Schiffer? I don't know, everybody's doing this now. I know, everybody's Everybody's doing it. Well, can we turn that TV off? Yeah. It's like you know, at 120, how it flickers. Looks good right there. All right, cool. It's more slamming. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, do it again. You're throwing it high, which is right. good. I just need to do it more. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. That could be money. Can you grab it from right here, spin it, and then cut? Yeah. And kind of go up with it and then cut. Yeah. And I'm going to do this at 120 as well. Okay. Three. Oh, three. I'm gonna get this angle right here. All right, ready, set, go. Yeah, exactly. Um, anytime I'm filming 24, is if there's like motion, but not like super fast motion. Exactly. And then with the 120, it's something that's fast, like liquid pouring. Exactly. So I definitely want to get the line squeeze 120. at 120, but the other stuff, let's exactly. do that fast. All right. So, all right. So the steps are going to be, you're going to take the, what is that called? A squeezer? Uh, squeezer, yeah. squeezer. <laughs> a juicer. Yeah. Sip, sip. A lime squeezer. Yeah, sure. So, so you're going to pick it up. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. Step okay. Six. So five. Yeah, five, step. five step. Let's get in close for this. Let me get at 24, three. Cool. Grab the line. Grab the line, yeah. Um, so maybe keep that there still. And then I'm gonna get right here where the line is. All right, you ready? So I'm just gonna film you picking up the line right okay. here. All right, three. Actually put it like you're going in there, okay. just so that I have the motion. One, two, 
three. Oh, that was really bad. Cool. And now we're gonna get, bringing it up. I wanna get it from here. Yeah, you grabbing it and going up here. So this is gonna be a little further back. Three. Where where are you gonna like it be might, positioned? It might, it might extract right there. Might extract right there. Like what? <laughs> I didn't even know it did that. Yeah, it's, it's actually the essential oils from the skin. Oh, yeah, let's do it. One Ready? One take wonder, baby. One take wonder, here we go. One, two, three. Start from right there, I'm gonna be closer. Okay. So it's almost gonna be like a punch in shot. Okay. Okay? So start like you just finished, and I'm gonna be like right here. Three. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna follow the ice like that. Three. I'll be able to cut that. Okay. Swirl, let's do, I'm gonna do two shots on the swirl. One from top, one from side. Yeah. Set, go. So move your head just slightly. Do it one more time. I'm gonna come from the top down. Ready, keep going. So I'm gonna get 24 frames per second of you maybe grabbing the strainer, mm -hmm. placing it in there and getting to the pour okay. moment. And then I'm gonna get the actual pour in 120. Okay. So I'm gonna get two shots. One of you picking it up and then a different angle of you sticking it. Three. Cool. Start from here? No, start from down here. I'm gonna get you moving it in 24 frames, but then I'm gonna do switch to slow-mo when I get the actual liquid pouring. Three. All right, cool. That's it? No, no, do you want me like, is that good? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do it again. All right, ready, set, go. Now it's just the smoke, right? Start. I'm gonna do 24 frames per second on this. Yeah. Ready, set, and go. Go. Now's the fun part. The fun part. So I guess uh, the first shot would probably be me getting the light, lighting the bowl. Three. Of course not. Get the shot of it lighting. Yeah, but do it you again. Want to do the whole thing in, in the yeah, motion. Yeah, do. Yeah, do the whole thing. Okay. Three. Got it. Yep. Keep it going. Dude, that looks sick. I'll wait for it to clear a little bit because that's a little too much. All right, can you move out of the way completely? That's great. Dude. That's gonna look good. Okay, I um, dig it. Last but not least, uh, we got put some uh, salt on the rim. Mm. Ice in the glass. We're just gonna dip it. Yeah, we got we got to rim it with lime. Okay. All right, one, two, three. Woo! I think that's good. Be one, two. Three. I think that was it. Last one. Cool. You get it? Yeah. Whew. So this was a really fun video to shoot. It's always fun filming with Costas. If you haven't already, go check out his channel as well, Costas Lazanas. I'll put a link uh, down below. So yeah, this was my first time attempting a behind the scenes B-roll style video like this. So let me know what y'all think. I would love to hear your feedback. If you like it, let me know, drop me a comment. If you wanna see more things like this on my channel. And I'm also thinking about doing the editing side. So how I actually edit a sequence like that from the import to the final product. So let me know also if you wanna see that. So keep watching the end screens. I'm actually gonna put the sound design version where I mute out the music and you just hear the video, see the video, and hear all the sound design that I put into this. So that'll be a completely different experience. So check that out right now. Thank you.